And we are live. What's up, everybody? This is Not Ghost Stories, aka Peter, or uh, Peter, aka Not Ghost Stories, whatever you prefer. And today I am with Smashem85. Um, Smash, if you don't uh, mind uh, giving uh, some people some some information about yourself as far as uh, where they can find you, um, you know, what you're doing as far as content these days, and, uh, you know, just a little bit about uh, your space. Yo, my name is Smashem85, and if you don't know what the 85 stands for, that was the year of my birth. So I'm a little bit of the older audience. I grew up with a lot of the Nintendo games and stuff like that so that brought me to streaming right now i stream uh almost i about three times a week it's usually monday tuesdays and thursdays from six to eight central or from yeah six to nine ish i I moved it down to nine um central standard time on twitch uh i do have a youtube channel smash 85 and um I uh, I haven't been doing a lot of uploading on that. Um, it's been a little rough trying to find my niche on the actual YouTube. But um, as far as that goes, and then Instagram and stuff like that, I try to keep everything smash them 85. I know it's uh, when people put numbers behind their names, you know, it's uh, not a lot of people are going to be taking that name. So it's I can pretty much carry it across the board. Dude, it kind of, the numbers behind too kind of kind of points. You're just saying you're you're born in '85, but that also I feel like that also points to like everyone's handles when they first had gamer tags or whatever always had numbers. I feel mm-hmm. like even when I made my Xbox account the first time, I feel like numbers were required. Like it was almost like when you you're making a password, it was like, like you have to have to. a special character, some numbers, <laughs> right? Some, you know what I mean? And that is my old. So like I like I played Nintendo all the way up until. Uh, like Super Smash Brothers and and all those old Nintendo games and stuff like that, um, all the way up until I got a PlayStation Three, and then I made Smash Em Eighty Five, and then that's it. Just stuck. I've had that name literally this whole time. No so when, yeah, so I I was able to just to transfer it over to Twitch, and uh, because I started streaming first, and I actually started streaming on my PS Four, and there's a um for people who want to start off, and you guys are on console just hit hit live you know and uh i once you enjoy talking to people eventually st- people will start coming in uh there's kind of a little hack to get you affiliate um i'll go ahead and share that with you guys because this is how i got affiliate um playstation has games of the month right where you get to try for free and on the games of the month people they look at the the videos on there and then they look at the people playing live broadcasts right and if you're streaming off of it it goes to the playstation and if you because it, like you link your playstation to your twitch right and so once you people look at the live broadcast if you stay on there for about two hours you'll have like 50 or something people in there if the game is a decent game and so that's how i actually got affiliate first so they promote yeah live streams prom- to, uh, yeah if you if you're streaming directly from play yeah yeah, for the they most, still do they still do that? Well, I'm pretty sure they do, but I don't know if they actually mi- mixed in with. I'm pretty sure it's, it is just people who stream off of it because I my son has a, a PlayStation Five and we looked up a live broadcast and it was streaming from PlayStation. <laughs> but yeah, that's how I started. It was just I hit live on accident one time because oh, no. I was, <laughs> wait actually <laughs> yeah yeah for real. So my very first stream was uh I saw that because I linked my twitch to my playstation for like drops and stuff i don't remember what it was but then i saw this button that said start broadcasting and i was like okay click (laughs) and i hit it and i was live and then i've been going live and uh in october will be three years that i've been streaming so i mean it's like an elevator business it's got its ups and downs you know yeah that's true yes that is true (laughs) that's never true words have been spoken man yeah, that's great. But that's cool that you got to keep. You've had that same name since you basically started. I've never. I've changed my name so many times. So, and a lot of people so change their names all the time. Like the time. being a being a streamer yourself, people come in and talk to you like they're your best friend, but they have a different name. And so you have to like try to coerce them to tell them what their old name was, so you can recognize who they were without being like, "I don't recognize you, man." You know, look, if you change your name and don't tell anyone, that's on you. 
Yeah. <laughs> if you know, let's be honest. Yo, if you don't say anything people, and you're like, why don't you know me, man? You're like, all right. <laughs> people do that all the time. They change their name. But if they keep within the same scheme a lot of the times, like uh, then you'll be able to you know, figure that out too. Right. That kind of helps. But if they change it completely and then they come in, because I'm, I'm pretty sure that's happened to you too, you know? Yeah, I've, I've had one major rebrand on Twitch. Um, yeah, and it's, uh, yeah, yeah. You had to come in and kind of explain yourself a little bit, but. Yeah. Man, rebranding is, I feel like can be a huge risk. Sometimes. Yo, speaking of rebranding, I okay. tried to actually do that with i went through and i looked up smash because nobody has that just smash because that's what everybody calls me like from all my old call of duty buddies that i still play uh we play valo now they all just call me smash so i was like let me try to change it to smash nobody is smash on twitch or anything nobody has that handle just smash and they you can't do it and i was kind of mad about that so i was Wait, just like i guess it's smash of 85 what, what, I, was the, I, what was the I don't know, but I think it has something to do with Smash Bros. Really? I don't know. I don't know. I tried to do it. I tried to do it uh, to change it, and it would not let me do it. And then I looked up Smash on Twitch, like just Smash, and it brings up all the games and stuff. Because I was trying to do it, because that would a lot of people would look that up, and then they were like, "You don't even play Smash Brothers." I'm like, "Yeah, that's not why I'm Smash." <laughs> yeah, so what was the what was the error message that it gave you? No, it wasn't an error message. It just wouldn't let me do it. It says, uh, I don't remember if it said it, the name was in, in, if it was already being used or something. I don't remember what it said. It was uh, about a couple months ago. I just remember I couldn't do it. Dude, I wonder if, I wonder if Smash Bros pays Twitch to lock the name down. So there's, yeah, no, and it's not, if you type the word in, it always goes to, it goes there. Yeah. That seems like such a Nintendo move. Yeah, oh yeah. Did you hear about what they did to point, to point Crow? <laughs> Do you know who Point Crow is? No. Nah. Okay, so Point Crow is he's a very good YouTuber, right? He's a a, a Legend of Zelda speedrunner. And already he, respect. Go ahead. Yeah, and he um he made well he, he commissioned somebody to make a mod which that already is you can't do that, but you know, Nintendo hates modding of their games because of emulators. Fun, right? Yeah, yeah which, is, which is wild because they make games. <laughs> yes, like, it basically, bro. They hate fun. Um, but he, so he had somebody commission a game to where it was like a multiplayer, uh, Breath of the Wild game, to where you could go into Breath of the Wild with up to like sixteen people. Whoa. But he and he made videos of it with like uh, playing tag against a speedrunner versus three like regulars or three professional Zelda players, and they were awesome videos. Uh, Nintendo went and you know YouTube if you get three strikes your channel's done. Yeah. Right? No if ends and buts. Well, they went through and they put two of the videos together for one strike or no, three of those videos that contain the multiplayer in for one strike and then they did another strike on another video and then they went and copyrighted uh like 20 something of his videos. And so like it almost he almost lost his channel for that. What? And wait, yeah. So I guess this makes me ask then how are we all not hit with copyright strikes for posting gaming content? So there is um <clears throat> I believe oh god, what or is, is Nintendo just that bitter? No, there's a it well, it's kind of a Nintendo thing to where yeah. they they don't want you to mod their channels and let people or mod their video games and let people know that you can change the codes and stuff. You know, but it, none of the stuff that he had was for was for sale or anything. It was just for video purposes, right? But like, but he makes money off of that, and then that's when they shut and it that's down. Like, yeah, because he, yeah, he he makes millions and millions. You know what I mean? Playing playing video <laughs> games and yeah. stuff. But like, I um, there is a there is a Call of Duty guy because I used to be a Call of Duty streamer and stuff, so I'd watch all the Call of Duty guys, and he makes troll videos, and uh, people were going in there and said, I don't want you to use my voice or anything like that well there's something in the uh the like you disclose like information like you yeah what are the things that you have to accept to play any game uh terms of service Ter terms of the tos tos thank you uh in the tos it says that your video your voice can be broadcasted through because if it couldn't then they would be dealing with lawsuits all the time 
you know? So when you, when you do the TOS on like open broadcasted games, uh, you're basically saying you can be recorded and stuff like that. So that's why, uh, there's that little TOS little niche thing in there for a lot of the games that, uh, content creators actually, uh, uh, stream or make YouTube videos on. That's how they get out of, uh, you know, getting in trouble with stuff like that. That's interesting. That's interesting. The, um, uh, yeah, because I hadn't really thought about because the music industry will will strike you instantly. Like, instantly, they, will, they, he, they seek and destroy it all the time. Yeah, but the <laughs> the images and the video studios, I guess, just don't care about. Or do you think they just like see? God, it's like honestly, if I was like a gaming studio man, I would be like, use, use whatever it, you want, use it, change because it, put it out. Who cares? The better videos that people come out with. Yes, I mean, like, look at Grand Theft Auto. Do you think people would be cl- playing Grand Theft no. Auto Five if there no. wasn't an RP or if there wasn't all those, uh, you know, uh, mods that they added into it? Who's better no. at keeping a game going after release until the next release than Grand Theft Auto? It came out with PlayStation Three. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> it's PlayStation 5 right now, bro. That's how I do my time zones. And now they're just, I just saw a, a clip of a GTA 6 is going to be coming out. I don't know when, but it, either that or it was a troll video and it looked real and it was amazing looking. But yeah, no, Rockstar has a way of just keeping games in. And like, it's the first, like, when you buy the game, all of their updates are free. Do you know what killed um, Destiny? Is the fact that the first you would, one or both of them? You would buy the game, yeah. and then all of the updates and everything would basically you'd have to buy the whole game again. Yeah, the DLC. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's a DLC the, right now on, on Steam for um, for Destiny. That's I want to say it's somewhere in the like 40, 40 to yeah. sixty or something like that. Yeah, I, I just bought it for my son. So, and yeah. all the reviews are terrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and that's the thing. Because and I, Des- mostly probably because of the expense. Destiny was so much fun. There was not a better game to play with your friends to go raiding. Like, have you? Did you ever get down on Destiny? Yeah, I, I finished the first one. And okay. Then, uh, my buddy did you do Tommy? You know, Tommy legit. Maybe you might have seen him in streams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we just recently downloaded it. I've only played, you know, maybe an hour or two. He's, I think he's a little further than me in the second one because it was a free download. So we just, yeah, we just well, they they it, changed, but... they finally changed it to where it was going to be free. But then you go in and it's free, and all the your your best guns and everything are locked behind DLC, yeah. right? And so you got to go in and buy all the the main mm-hmm. DLCs and stuff. And it's just uh, it, it got too much money grabbing it's always been like that but like when you would go in with the raids with like i thought was it six people or five people um i thought it was always i thought five four or five sounds right yeah i can't remember it yeah so you would go in with them and you'd be on a playing with each other for hours just trying to beat this stuff and you, you would find like little shortcuts and then people would be falling off the map and you would just be laughing at each other. We, we would, we would do it. We would be playing the first one mostly and people would be falling asleep because we're trying to get to an area and you'd hear people snoring on the microphones. Nah. And like, yeah, dude, I was, it happened to me once, man. <laughs> like They were making fun of me and I wake up and everybody's off the game and I'm like, Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I remember, yeah. I remember destiny one being really into it and then beating it. I, I, I can't remember if it took very, I, I feel like it didn't take that many days. Um, and then going back for the replay value and it just wasn't there. I remember there's just being like extremely hostile at release for the yeah. first one anyway. Yeah. And uh, I remember, yeah, I remember playing it and I was just like, Oh, is there nothing more? Then it reminded me of like, I had the same vibes when Anthem came out. If you remember Anthem. Oh, um, I pre- that was this is why like I don't pre-order most- games anymore because, because that game, came was, out broken. That game was broken and every everything you entered was a loading screen. It was mm-hmm. like there was no flow and I just did. There was no real replay value and it reminded me of that. And I was like, oh, this is the same thing. Like, this is so dumb. Like, I fucking like games, people, man. Like people was- wouldn't. It, that's that was one of the. um the biggest hype games and i'm glad i didn't fall into that trap because I, all of my friends were yeah, just, yeah. 
<laughs> rip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is why we call him Ghost, by the way. Yeah, just rip. Yeah. <laughs> Anthem um, killed me straight. Yeah, up. you're dead, bro. But yeah, they all got on it, and uh, they kept trying. They still, because you know, once your friends got coerced into something, they want to drag you in no matter what. Like you're gonna suffer yes, together. Yes. You know, because nah, if bro, I it's only twenty bucks, come on, <laughs> man, come if on. I made this mistake, bro, you're coming down with me. You know. Yeah. Yeah. But I, di I didn't fall for it, and then I it was like one of the most worst games uh, in in this decade, probably. That and, um, Anthem or Destiny? Uh, Anthem. Anthem, yeah, and, for sure. And then sure. Um, there's another one that uh, it almost got me to. It's got Keanu Reeves in it. Cyberpunk? It's like a future. Yes. Yes, that game was broken, too. Yeah. Uh, apparently, it's come back. Apparently, it's come back a little bit. It's made yeah, but they, much it should have It should have came out like that. That's yeah, what I'm I mean, saying. We can, we can definitely... We could definitely talk about this. Um, stop, stop releasing games that aren't done. Yes, yes. Why don't we talk about that? The, the uh, what was it? I mean, I was just in this Twitter fight, which is such a waste oh, of time. I realized. Gloves up, gloves up. I, I was just in this Twitter. It was about uh, Redfall, mm -hmm. which just came out. If you've mm -hmm. heard, I've, I've heard of it. I've heard. I've heard. Uh, of it. Reviews are really bad, and it's mm -hmm. on Game Pass. And um, a mutual friend of ours, uh, Nick. Tana, mm -hmm. he, he played it, streamed it, gave it terrible reviews, uh, as did most people who played it. Oh, everything's terrible. So I was reading about it. I was watching gameplay. I didn't end up downloading it. And I saw the uh I think it was Phil Spencer's um, notes about it. He's the, can't, I don't know his official title, but for Xbox. Um, and he was saying like, oh, if we wouldn't have delayed it or like delaying it wouldn't have mattered as far as fixing what's broken. And yeah. I got in this Twitter fight with random people because I guess I had nothing else going on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's like, man, it's hard for me to believe that if you don't delay a game and keep putting out fixes, especially for technical issues. Look, it's if it's a shitty story, it's a shitty story. But if it plays smoothly, there's some... You know redemption there and then you can go yeah. okay well it's like don't let both sides fail and yeah. he was saying like if we if we had if we had uh it wouldn't have mattered if we delayed it it was a uh, more of a nod to like the the direction of the game the story wasn't interesting the gameplay wasn't compelling you know kind of listed it all off it doesn't matter you know if we had delayed it but i just i don't i don't believe when you're when it's a, when it's a tech company and it's a tech company mm -hmm. um, at that level with that much money at stake. What that means too, is that there's another side of people that you don't see that is saying you need to get this out because every day this game is not released. We lose money. Yeah. Right? And we have to recoup. They have, they have timelines and they get, they get fronted money. Yes. And if they don't like, make that timelines and it yeah, goes it's back. Like then a book. They, yeah, yeah, exactly. So exactly. they go, Hey, the runway's running out. Like, we got to put this out because we got to start recouping this money. And they released an unfinished product. Mm -hmm. And the thing about gamers is that we're all nerds. And like, it's not, you're not going to dupe the gaming community. No, no. With, with bad products. Now you can dupe us with battle passes, and, but we all know we're getting duped. It's like, yeah, yeah I know yeah. ice cream is bad for me, but I'm still eating the whole pint. Like, it's delicious. It's deli I know, but like, I know, we know. We know. We know spending five hundred dollars on an Apex skin is we're getting duped, but we do it anyway. But we know. Mm -hmm. like, we're not As long as we know you're not covering us up and like Right, you know. right. But they're not even trying to hide it, but which is fine. No. If if they're transparent. But this stuff is like the game's not done. You're pushing it out and you're like lying about the reasons that it's being pushed out. They're like, We thought it was ready. No no you didn't. You knew it wasn't ready. No. But you there's have no to way you because there's it. some yeah. there's some you know, shadow council of money people that says, put it out, do yeah. it. Like it's time, it's time. And then you've got, and I, I just, there's too much money at stake. And like, I think people grossly underestimate that money and the shareholders are more important than us, the consumers. You know, that's why like alphas and betas are so important, you know? So when they go out and the games are kind of broken, you know, they get a feel for it and they can see what's buggy. And that gives them a little bit more time to fix it. Yeah. So, like, I would, like, oh, God, what game? Uh, X Defiant just dropped their beta uh, for, like, a week, for, like, a whole week. Yeah. Uh, that game was fun. 
I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, so when that comes out, I'm going to buy it because I know it was a little buggy and that gives them a little bit more time. But when I was playing it, I had a lot of fun doing it. So if they, if these people, cause call of duty is like, cause I was always a call of duty guy for all the way up until uh, just recently. Right. Um, every year new call of duty drop. I remember waiting in line. Did you ever wait in line for a call of duty drop? Uh, I waited in line for halo. Okay. Okay. Like, okay. Oh, but you, you've had it. You've had it though. Um, get it, you know yeah. where the where the line wraps around the whole store and it's a midnight release. Yes, like they they, they don't have that anymore. But yeah. um, but Call of Duty's is the worst, especially with now because like with uh technology advancing so rapidly, right? It's hard to cram in a game because they have like three years to make it, I believe, because there was three different studios that were putting out a game, right? And they just kind of like stacked onto each other. But they finally stopped the this Modern Warfare 2. This one is supposed to be a two year game for the first time since Call of Duty, I believe. And uh, now they're talking about I think they're talking about uh, releasing another one. But if they keep that two year process and fix the game and take more time on your next game, it won't come out broken because Vanguard, when that came out, I actually liked the way Vanguard felt. I liked the way it played. I liked the way it shot. All the guns felt good. But like when it came down to camo challenges, they were glitchy. There were so many glitches in the game, and it just wasn't polished. You know, and if that game would have came out polished, I don't think it would have got that much hate. And not only that, we hate World War II games. Could we stop making <laughs> them by now? Like there, Tell that to there's only feels, son. I know. There's only like so many things you could do in World War II. But the Vanguard story was great. Some people didn't like it. I loved it. Uh, Call of Duty does real good with their campaign modes, though. You could you could just buy yes, a Call of Duty 100%. and play the campaign. I think they could sell all their campaigns for twenty bucks every time I release every it. every single time yes. and just have a campaign. Campaigns and are so good, and I and I hopefully they're not underrated. Sorry to interrupt you. I, no, I just, no, the no, you're campaigns right. have always been incredible. Like, did you play the the most? I, I don't even know what COD we're on anymore, but it's the i want to say it was modern warfare 2 i guess it was modern warfare 2 the first the one, first that came that, out uh, right when covid just now. started oh that was modern warfare the, that was okay. modern warfare yeah did you play that campaign yes of course when yeah. you're the little kid hiding oh. in the house from the mercenary yeah and you're like hiding under tables and like stabbing this dude's knees mhm mm that's pretty... I, that was a, I couldn't even believe what I was doing. Like I was like, this is insane. It's crazy that they made this again. Like this is wild. The craziest thing they did was the first Modern Warfare two way back in the day, and they had that Russia with love. Have you ever played that? Do you know uh, what that was? That the elevator. That's the one to where you go down and you mow down a whole Airport. terminal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, no Russian. No, no, yeah, that's what it is. That's what it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you mow down a whole terminal, and then at the end, they know you're a spy or whatever, and they knock you out. And it's just like, no way. Dude, and they had the disclaimer at the beginning of the game, like, hey, there's a, you're basically committing a war crime. You can, <laughs> you could remember, you could opt out. You can say, yeah. like, I don't want to play this. Yeah, mission but no, 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 no. Early, early twenties, me was mowing down people. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> we're taking people out bro yeah but, but their yeah, campaigns are are amazing are they the outside of if we're Mo talking shooter campaigns i'll put halo up there against anybody yeah halo has always been good and if but i would have campaigns are incredible too like they're if so i would have stuck with xbox because i stopped playing xbox uh halo 3 Right. And, you know, I collected all the skulls, got the Hibusu suit. Yeah. You know, I, I played that stuff, but I didn't play any more Halo story modes because I switched over to PlayStation and my roommate had the Xbox. You know what I mean? And then yeah. when I went solo, I just was like, I'm a PlayStation guy because, you know, there's the war, you know, the PlayStation versus Xbox. But now you throw the piece since PC is just over towering both of them. Together. Yeah, the PC is the, um, you know, up, the, the United echelon. States government. <laughs> and Xbox and PlayStation and other Republicans and Democrats and then the yeah. PCs like the mainstream media they just kind of you know make some dance and <laughs> yeah 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 the PC like I just switched over to PC gaming and so cuz I've always been a console guy and like the whole reason I got my PC was so that way I could use my capture card and play my PlayStation yeah. off of it but then eventually I just switched over completely cuz I got a pretty beast PC 
like it it uh it does a pretty good job for me and so now i can stream and play at pretty decent quality i could yeah. stream 1080p and i could play pretty decent resolution you know you, i think we're now in a place where consoles are just computers like really good computers and i think mm -hmm. consoles are still relevant obviously and oh, i also yeah. think that there's also i just don't see consoles going away or at least I guess I'm thinking of inputs like a controller well, a, will never go away because there's always games that play better on a controller. Yes, Call of Duty. I I I will put this down yeah. like a lot of people a lot of my friends and everything now they're, you know, keyboard and mouse guys and I did switch over to keyboard and mouse for Overwatch. Overwatch to me is a keyboard and mouse game. Yes. Call of Duty and like we're both uh ex Paladin streamers or Paladin streamers uh controller just ran those lobbies. Like it's it's a controller like it has its place right and i i do believe like i still play controller i'll hook up the controller it just depends on what game i'm playing you yeah, know like little adventure game like i just finished um a game last night called ravenlock which is on game pass it's a it's a fantasy adventure game essentially was that was that the one that you was playing yesterday <laughs> yeah 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 you watched it yeah, I was yeah, playing yeah that on controller that was I, there's that, no oh, reason okay. for me to put that on a on a keyboard there's no. not there's not that many inputs like it was yeah it's a controller game like it's better on controller I, in yeah. my opinion I just like I would never if I put it on a keyboard it'd be too it'd be too much like I don't need a full keyboard to yeah play it. directional movability on controller is the reason you play controller you know what I mean like the WASD is its keyboard's only downfall when it comes to versing a controller. It's just, it's just not as, like, aiming will always be superior on PC. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. If there was no auto-aim, controllers would never have a chance. It's like a whole, if there was yeah. no auto-aim, I'd be, I'd be hard-pressed to think. That yeah, because you can, players you can full be, flick onto people and then slow your movement down. Like, it's, like, it's looting, and shooter, yeah. looting is so much faster on a keyboard. Oh, my goodness. Um, Tab tabbing over or trying to is so yeah, like, bad yeah yeah so again and when i say auto aim i don't mean i'm not uh, auto aim aim assist aim, aim assist, aim <laughs> assist. Auto -aim, yeah auto -aim. yeah um, <laughs> yo toggle off man toggle <laughs> off yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, man, man. i don't even know use my computer last i love dude, yeah i love, I love watching <laughs> right? those videos <laughs> people get caught like who used my computer last like oh my god up, <laughs> the, the one girl uh that was playing csgo yes, she started yes. screaming at, at her roommate she was using my computer i was like no no you got you got <laughs> caught in 4k bro <laughs> like, yeah, I, know, I know exactly who you're talking about yeah I was like you guys went into that glitch where you see people through walls <laughs> <laughs> like you mean walls <laughs> dude she got she got caught bro that's you know so what you funny. do though you know what I, man if you got if you cheated first of all you cheat in a video game you're a loser anyway <laughs> you're a fucking loser <laughs> you're a loser <laughs> anyway bro <laughs> Unless okay, there's only a couple times that where it's okay. Actually, no, it's not okay. No, the only time it was back in the day, it was up, down, up, down, okay, left, yes, right, yes. left, when right, A, B, B, A, hold exactly. select, and you got invincibility because you was playing an impossible game, and if you died, you had to start all the way over. That's when cheats were a game, and then they had the game it's, genie or you the, know, and all stuff game like shark. that. Yeah, game shark. Yeah, yeah. when you the, know what I mean? when the developers put cheats in to make it fun. Mm -hmm. and then halo did it nicely with the skulls it was like it's not cheats but they're fun little collectibles to make your life harder or like it just makes the game more fun like grunt head part or grunt grunt birthday party remember mm -hmm. that skull that was fun yeah you know confetti would shoot out of the sky mm -hmm. uh, or every time you shot a grunt in the head but like if you cheat in a multiplayer game you're you're a fucking loser i said it. yeah you're just hands loser. hands down hands down bro and it, everybody knows I, it like, I see troll accounts who do it. I if you ever scroll TikTok late at night, you always run yeah. people like cheating in Apex or cheating yeah. in Fortnite. And, and then have it on they're that. trying to make money, which okay, I get. That's fine. I respect. Mm -hmm. I respect that yeah. side of it by like yeah. selling their cheats. I man, dude, imagine legislation to make cheating in gaming illegal because it's essentially you're like you're disrupting the cash flow of the company in some ways so like let's you know, say like let's say you and i are playing and we keep running into cheaters and we go you know what i'm done with this game 
which happened. Now, uh, now we're lost revenue. Nick, Nick Merckx and like ten, Nick Merckx completely switched over to Apex as he was getting hacked on in Call of Duty because they they were just letting it fly. Like everybody was hacking in Call of Duty and they were getting stream sniped the whole time when the uh, first Warzone came out and uh, they were hacking. Of course, there was hacking before that, but now it was being caught live. You know what I mean? On other people's yeah. streams and they were able to broadcast it to make it more known. And then but what that did, it had a double edge effect. Because, yeah, it's being more known, but now more people know about it, and then they go search it up. Then you got more hackers, right? Now, yeah. there is there is some times that I wish I would be one of those lowlifes and just go toggle on everything and just fry a lobby just to see how it feels. You know what I mean? You know I've how it's going to feel. I, I know. You know I just want to feel it, though. You know <laughs> I how haven't, it's going to feel. I yeah. know. It's going to feel grimy and great at the same time. And then at it's the hilarious. end of the lobby. Yes. Piss everyone off. Yeah. Then you go, ah, it's just a game. Who cares? That's what it feels like. Yeah. And then and then you know, you go back to your, you know, mediocre aim and everything, and then it is what it is. But I've always wanted to try it. I'll never do it, but you know, it does I do understand the appeal for it, but you literally ruin people's time, like good times. And I found out I saw a, a clip to where you could sue somebody for a uh, lack of uh, like a good time or, or like a life ruining event. <laughs> lack right. Of a good time. So, so, uh, so like, so many yeah, yes, dude. <laughs> so like if I go somewhere, right. And you ruin my life a little bit, I'm just going to start suing. <laughs> just everybody's going down now. <laughs> hey man, you're a real big buzzkill. So I'm going to have to see. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't come in here with that negative attitude. I'm going to be, I'm going to be going to work and my boss is going to be like, Hey, Hey, you gotta you got something to do over here. I'm gonna be like, nah, I'll see you in court. <laughs> it's just it's what bothers me the most is seeing these videos, and maybe that's what they're trying to do, right? They're trying to get people like us riled up, but it's the people who are cheating and then advertising themselves as good. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, I like I went 40 and one last night, I smashed the slobby so good. Because you're just you're just like you're the equivalent of like a package thief. It's like the lowest form of crime, and it just seems like the most desperate. It's just so like the best people to watch now are people who actually got famous be, being like a uh, hacker investigators. Yes, right. Yes. And they will they they make clips on like people will send them clips of hackers, and then they'll investigate if they're actually hacking and stuff, and then they'll tell you what hacks they're using and stuff like that. That's so, so cool. the that's the way that's the way. Like if you were gonna have incorporate any of your, you know, uh, stream or brand or anything, it would be like investigating hackers because that's the way to go. Or if I'm Call of Duty, if I'm active, mm -hmm. I find those channels and I go, hey guys, why don't you work for us? Right. Why don't you work for us? We'll pay you. Oh, we'll they pay you. Pay. You will also make content and get paid from your own stuff. Mm -hmm. Everything that you use will be copyright free. Why don't you go like, because they can then pay people as contractors so they don't have to give them benefits, mm -hmm. right? Because they're already an independent contractor if they're a content yep. creator. You're your own, you go, your own LLC. Look, man, and stuff we're going to give you X amount of dollars for every person you find. It'll be like a bounty. We're going to set yes. bounties up on these. these you bounties. get like commissions and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you and know what say, I mean? Okay, I found 10 of these people who go and find hacks. You build cases, you show it to us. If we agree with you, we'll, we'll ban these people. Mm hmm And why, like, are they banning IPs as well? Is it easy to just set up a new, if you're like so a legit hacker type I do, I do know that. This is so far when, above me. Like I have no idea what I'm talking the about. The only reason I know is because I watch the YouTube videos and stuff. And like they, uh, the war zone, when that, when that first came out and there was all these hackers, they were just banning accounts. Right. And so these hackers, they would go mm -hmm. in and have like 40 accounts and they would tell them, yeah, we, ha I have multiple accounts. You could ban me now. I'm going to go in. And then they started banning IPs. And that's really like, if you're going to fix this, fix the problem, and they they started also by uh, hitting console players now. Like they used to have a Cronus. Uh, do you know what that is? Is that the a controller attachment? Yeah. So you plug you plug it into the controller, right? And it um, takes away recoil, basically. Who the fuck and, and is making these? Like I don't how know. Do we but... just stop the businesses themselves? Mm -hmm. Because they're now interfering with cash flow. So now, if you go on there. Uh, they have a bot now that senses like that's not how the gun's supposed to shoot. And then, or like they detect the hardware 
that it like immediately detects the hardware and you can't play. You can't even use it now. But they did. They oh. had it on there for. But why? Why is this taking so long though? Like we're money. like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Money. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Money's flowing. Everyone's like, well. Also, okay, I'll say money first, but I don't know anything about stopping this. I don't know if it's difficult. I don't know if it takes a lot of time and resources. If you say, hey, just stop hacking, you go, okay, that's like, you can't just say that. Like, no. You know what I mean? Like, no. like, it's like saying stop petty theft. You can't. You can't stop it. You'll never right. stop it. You'll and never stop it tr truly. So maybe, wait. maybe it's just. I... Oh, I'm sorry. No, yeah. you're good. You're good. I was just to uh, say like. So with hacking is basically what they're doing. It's, it's a, it's an arms race, right? right? So they go in and they make this update that stops this new hack or this new, um, system that they're using that to, to use hacks on right then the hackers or the developers of the hacks will go in and one up that and so it's always a climbing it's like a ladder you know when you reach to the top you think you're there but then they put up another ladder and then you're just always climbing to try to fight them you know and so it you'll never fully get rid of hacks but they're in the right direction finally you know starting I, to take down most of them yeah i guess you can't control hacking software created in other countries. So you can like maybe ban companies existing in the United States. Um, and in my opinion, that type of stuff should be banned because you're taking, you're taking something away from regular people. Yeah. And that's like, mo even though like people are spending money on like with hacks and stuff like that, most of the money is coming from, the people who work your nine to fives, they come home and they just yes. want to sit down. You're a casual gamer is your, is your money. Is you your don't money. mess with the money. Right? right. And that's what happened. in. I'll always jump back to hacking a war zone. Cause it was the worst I've ever seen, but that's what happened to Warzone and why it died off so much. And then they tried making new maps and then they have a new, even this game that they have now, nobody plays it really. You don't see it. Like my stream, my for you page and my following and everything used to be littered with call of duty. And now the only people playing call of duty are like your right now is symphonies playing, you know, and everybody else on my list is overwatch warframe. Apex. I still got, people. yeah, you know, and just a couple people like that. And that's, that's how you kill the game is you, once you take the streamers away from the game, then you start losing revenue. Right. Which, you know, good and bad. It's it's kind of cool that like content creators and live streamers have created a market where they can elevate a game. Like, remember when Fall Guys went crazy? Oh my there? god! Remember when Among Us went crazy for a minute? And a lot of that that has to do with the creators. Yeah, yeah, which is awesome. It's cool that they can bring that up. Problem is, they can also kill. So it's like they can yeah. absolutely murder a game. You're like, yeah, this sucked. Don't play it. And that's, it's, okay. it's and that you, double average, effect. Yeah, you have you have average 30k viewers a stream. That's just people watching the stream, not people mm -hmm. who just watch your YouTube or follow you on socials. You're like, this sucks. You're like, mm -hmm. well, I just lost thirty thousand customers. Basically. And you're because like, anybody fine, that yeah. comes to the channel, you're actually just you're promoting the game. Right? right. Anybody like let's say you got four people. That's four more people that can maybe go out and buy their game and then there you could have 30,000 people like you said that's 30,000 people you know that could go out and buy your games right and the $10 battle pass and yeah yeah and all of it next six and months. all of it yeah cuz you don't want to go out with the default skin bro you can't be doing that yeah yeah remember when like that you, you no one wanted to be the default skin and then <laughs> default skin became cool again mm -hmm. you're like oh it's just a default you're like oh my god look at this default you know and then he just mean? owned you yeah yeah <laughs> You're like, dang it, bro. But yeah, my son, he, because basically, like, I play a lot of games that my son does. I have a 13 year old son, for those of you guys who don't know. Um, and his voice is getting deeper and it's weird. But like, when he played Fortnite, I played Fortnite. When we played Call of Duty, we played Call of Duty together. And now the game that we play now is Overwatch. We, we spend a lot of time playing Overwatch. We don't do ranked because he's on console, but we play a lot together. And so that's why Overwatch is good now. And then uh, Friday, this Friday, uh, the new Tears of the Kingdom is coming out for you uh, Nintendo fans out there. And I'll be bringing that on the channel for probably for the foreseeable future. Uh, we'll we'll probably dabble back into some Overwatch, but it's mostly going to be uh, Tears of the Kingdom for a while. 
do you i watched some gameplay footage it's just not my style first of all i didn't even have a switch or anything so it doesn't yeah but um the new game looked i've I watched it be played and i was like Mm -hmm. damn this looks so complicated for for me right now like man i don't i don't want to invest my brain into this you think the second one looks kind of similar because I, I looked at the gameplay it's gonna be great obviously yeah everybody knows it um now that i think about it how many nintendo games maybe i'm ignorant to this but how many nintendo games get released and fail do they oh uh, a lot really i mean a lot of them i mean but I there's also like the big titles so big titles with nintendo there's two different uh like fan bases you have to deal with you have the uh uh like the asian culture gets like completely different releases than the uh north american culture gets or like the eu culture gets and so like they'll have uh like i know like the asian communities they have a lot of uh like rpg title bases that go over there and they do really well there that you know not it doesn't do really well here but of course like mario does great everywhere but uh and zelda does great everywhere too but yeah so the ones that fell here may not fell there, which is why they keep getting drops. The ones that fell there may not fell here, you know, so it's kind of hard for Nintendo to do that. Yeah, I guess I hadn't thought about they they're also creating games. They're also creating games that will succeed in certain regions, which is yeah. But yeah, I, I want to say like the, the popularity of of those games is going up here like the like a jrpg or um you know it just with the rise of the popularity of anime or oh um, yeah just the culture itself you know i'm not trying to loop everybody into it just thinking of things that are being that are being sent this way like things in the uh pop, pop culture yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, well i mean pokemon like, was like a huge risk but it ended up paying and, off in a big way and that was the rpg that got a lot of people into rpgs yeah and that was like your that's like the the like young version of like starting people in role-based games yeah. and me i can't play those games because my tension span now if they make a um like a role-playing game that is a movement-based fighting to where you move and then you pop your skills like the uh it's final like Zelda, fantasy right? It, exactly exactly yeah. and uh the final fantasy 7 remake uh that they did a couple years ago was well done and it was a movement but the old final fantasy 7 was turn based and i cannot play turn based rpgs i just can't do it why is it just attention span i so yeah and i don't like it's the same thing for me like valorant and like csgo when you got to plant your feet to shoot like i have to be moving the whole time to really feel like i'm enjoying the game like movement for me is so important and that's why like i i just i can't play things where i have to go through scroll read plan my next move i don't like playing chess and video games you know what i mean if i wanted to play chess I'll, I'll go play chess you know but that's basically what those those games are and that's my you know my preference on it which that's why gaming like in a whole you there's so many different genres that are attention grabbers for certain people you can find your niche out there because if most more likely or, or not they made it for you already right you know like even phone games you know what i mean like if you can't find it on a console or something, there might be something on the phone you might like. Yeah, mobile gaming <laughs> is a whole new thing yeah, now. Yeah, I want to say, is it, I'm just thinking, it's it like a Candy Crush, man. It's like, oh, I will, I will tell you, crush, that, you go, like, what are the numbers on Candy Crush? Because they have to be insane. It's, it's gotta still, be one of the most it's successful still games huge. of all time. It's still huge, and that game's that game's so old too. There's so many updates. Like I, I know I had a buddy who went to the la- who got to the last level and it was like level a thousand something. Then an update came and he was like, "Oh, gotta play Candy Crush again." <laughs> yeah. I'm like, Dude, a thousand, bro. <laughs> Did you see that article? Uh, it was some. It was some kid that posted like, "My mom accidentally entered some Candy Crush tournament and now she's like top eight North America." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> like, no. she, like she's like accidentally been smashing it. <laughs> and in this tournament and she's like in the finals or something or like the semifinals oh unknowingly she's just like yeah just play in between <laughs> jobs and whatever and just like this actually crushing like yeah. she's literally candy crushing and I, like, it's just so funny he's like hey heads up 
my mom is an actual G at this game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you guys' moms are lame. Mine's yeah. <laughs> winning. <laughs> I hope she wants some money. That'd be so fun. Dude, for sure, man. I mean, that's that's what the imposts are for, you know? Yeah. By the way, mobile gaming is gaming. I, you know, I don't care what oh, yeah. you say. If, you, if you're playing a game on mobile, you, you're, you're a fan of video games. This is, I had this argument with one of my uh, really, really good friends' wives. We were talking about video games and like how we define certain hobbies as waste of time, and I'll, I will staunchly defend gaming. Um, and I was like, do you play mo- like games? She's like playing games on her phone. I was like, you play video games? She's like, no, it's not the same. I'm like, it's a video game. Yeah. It's a game you're viewing through. A sc- it's the definition. And we like brought up the definition. It was like, it is a video game by definition. Mm-hmm. But there's still that stigma of like separating yourself. Like, yeah, you're playing video games. She's like, no, 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 it's not, it's not the same. It's on my phone. I'm like, that's a game. It's called mobile game. Like you're playing games, but like, yeah. they just like didn't want to associate themselves with playing games because I think I, I don't think it it's that way anymore, but the you know, you're just sitting playing games for eight hours eating Cheetos in your mom's basement. Yeah. That everyone's heard that thing. stereotype. Yeah. It still exists, but not even close to what it used to be. No. And if if anything, I would argue that mobile gaming is more addictive than console gaming because you can do it anywhere. And yeah. I played I played Clash Royale uh for oh my god, so many I had to force myself to stop playing Clash Royale. Like so I won't download it on my phone anymore because it was so addicting for me. And then like I was getting so mad because like you would climb the ladder and everything and then you would lose you'd be on a losing streak and you'd be getting mad but that, that having a game in your hand everybody has their phones with you at all the times and then like if you're not doing something you pop it up and then you hear the, the screen go off and then like two hours later you're like uh what just happened yeah <laughs> you know like mo- mobile gaming is is definitely more addicting than than that's console gaming or claim. pc that's an interesting you know claim. i could mm-hmm. i could see that it's way easier too it's way more accessible it's yeah and that's i mean when it comes to addictive anything accessibility is number one you know you have to have access to it like you can't go to work and you know play call of duty you know or or zelda or anything you know but you can play clash royale or clash of clans or candy crush or angry birds or all the toilet yeah oh yeah that's i mean i mean i think every guy knows there's a prime time for gaming (laughs) on your phone like everybody knows what time that is you know that's 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 interesting yeah the the idea that but it's just it it kills me every time having these debates with people yeah video games is the biggest waste of time and then you like come they come back to their house and they're like you're just on your phone watching you know, TikToks you, for hours. Watching you know TikToks what I mean? or watching, uh, you know, some reality show. Like, how many times have you watched um, Love is Blind? Like, how many times right? have we seen these same 10 episodes? People watch The Office oh, the Bachelor, over man. again like, doing that. Yeah. For, I don't, I don't thing. get it, man. I don't understand this, this thought. That it, whatever thought it is of, like, watching TV is somehow more productive and it's just not like your brain no. is literally not. You just off. There's, you can read about this of like when you're watching TV, your brain is is not doing anything. It's mm-hmm. not doing anything. There's At no all. critical thinking. There's no. You're just feeling emotion of what's going, what's being fed to you. Mm-hmm. Like you're basically a zombie, and people will just be like, "No, nah, that's." They're like, "No, nah, video games are a waste of time." And then you sit down and you watch. A whole season of game of thrones and you're like yeah game of thrones bangs but like don't <laughs> tell me like you don't fucking waste time like the- <laughs> yeah yeah exactly exactly you know I, mean? I mean it's so people argue that because well I they didn't it. grow up in that stuff and that's mostly like our parents that that came up with that stuff you know you're wasting your time but now like adults are like intertwined with gaming because everybody is starting to get older and older the kids grow up with tablets now you know, it's just now it's there to where like me and me playing games with my son, like that's how we connect. You yeah. know, he if it wasn't for that, I would never see him. You know, I go in his room and he's like, leave me alone, dad. Oh, by yeah. the way, let's play Overwatch. Yeah. <laughs> you Get know what I mean? But hit me up a Discord. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I, this is just where we're at in a society like all around the world now, you know? Oh. Yeah, man, I saw <laughs> 
I just I will forever die on the hill of gaming because it's just such an important part part of my life too. Like, well, hobbies. I like to say that like hobbies save lives, right? Like oh, if you don't have a, a general hobby and it may not even be video games, but if you don't have something that you're being productive into in your home, uh, then you're, you're really not doing yourself a service. You know what I mean? Cause I've met people that their only hobby is what other people do and their, their only hobby is just doing housework, you know, but like even like fishing, hunting, uh, gardening, you play, gardening, you play softball with the boys, bowling, you know, there's so many hobbies that you can do that get your mind out of where you're at because everybody goes through trials and tribulations. Everybody has depression. I'm not, everybody has depression, but everybody goes through down times. Right. And if you don't have something to keep your mind busy, then that's what really keeps you down, you know? And so you, you gotta be able to have escapes from reality really. And that's what gaming has been for me, you know, is so when I turned it on, yeah, I, I get a little upset. Like if you guys ever catch the stream and you hear me getting upset, you know, I'm getting upset at the video game. That doesn't carry into my real life. I'm not going around screaming, hackers, hackers, <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Like in real life, you know, but, and, and it also like, it helps you get some of that out, you know, like there's, you have to have that escape from reality with, with all your hobbies, whatever they may be, you know, the more hobbies, the better. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. I, I, if you don't have hobbies, you end up just sitting on your phone all day. And this is when you get like Twitter crazy people, and mm -hmm. they just don't do anything at all. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's it's an absolute escape from reality. I also think gaming is like very social. It didn't oh, yeah. used to be, but now it is absolutely like, especially when you stream, man. You know, oh, I, streaming I, did I, did is. I, did I, I see you have 15, 20 people in your Overwatch streams lately. I'm like, okay, yeah. how is that not social? Yeah, oh, that's you got that's some all we're doing. Let's realistically, you're talking to on a, on a good day seven, for for six, streamers our size. Yeah, like five to ten people in there having a yeah. chat, and you're like, okay, mm -hmm. but it's antisocial. You're like, how? How is yeah. it antisocial? I just learned no. about all these people's days. They're telling me about their favorite foods. We're talking a bunch of shit to each other. Oh, uh, we got this new person in that we're learning about, and also, I just happen to be playing this game in a group of five people who are not yes. even in the. You know, imagine like you're sitting. Imagine you're playing Overwatch and you have 10 people just in the room watching you. Yes. I like to I like to think of uh viewers as being in uh an audience as like if if I'm uh broadcasting on like a uh, uh when you go to the movies, you know, a theater, mm -hmm. you know, they go to the movies and and you're just you're sitting here playing and everybody's behind you just watching what you're doing, but you know what I mean? That's how I like to look at it. So if I got four people, we're all in the same row. Right. You know, we're just talking. If I got 10 people, I might have a couple behind me, but we're all just enjoying what's happening right now together. Imagine having 10 people together doing anything. That's too many people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, like I'm not letting 10 people, people in. I'm, there is no way 10 people are coming to my house. Right, you know like, what I mean? I ain't that's cleaning a party that up. at that point. That's a, yeah. That's, that's a, what that's that is. July weekend. That's what that is. That's more than a cookout, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? It is. It absolutely is. That's so funny. Yeah, but I mean, it's true, though. But and that's what that's what like streaming and especially streaming like, you know, if you're making uh, VODs, TikToks and stuff like that, you're you're opening up your, um, you know, your audience, you're right. you're trying to grab people to the stream, because a long time ago, when I first started streaming, I was looking up ways to grow. And they always say, grow your audience elsewhere and bring them to Twitch. You know, but me, I, I kind of did it the other way. I grew on Twitch and I didn't really grow a lot like on YouTube and stuff like that. But I'm still, you know, that audience, that core audience is there. You know, I might switch games. They might not come back for a month or two, but That's they come fine. back and they say hi. You know That's what I mean? Fine. And I always tell, like they apologize. I'm like, no, real life comes first because no matter what, IRL always first. I will always say that hands down. That always comes sure. first before coming in and watching and just hanging out. If you stop in once every six months and say hi, I'll be like, hey, how are you doing? Thank you. You know, welcome back. How you been? You know, because I, I genuinely care how people are doing that come in and say hi to me. Right. Right. And it, even if they don't come back for that long, like I'm not going to enjoy every game that people play. But it has yeah. nothing to do with them. It's like, dude, I just really don't, I really don't want to watch Pepe the Pig today. Like, I don't. That's, right. I'm just not interested. Sorry to all the Pepe the Pig fans, or if that, <laughs> I'm even saying that right. But I, I saw, I saw that game on Game Pass. That's why it popped in my head. <laughs> I was like, I'll still lurk, but I don't. 
I don't want to watch yeah. it. And it has nothing to do with you. And doesn't mean I'm not coming back. It doesn't mean I'm unfollowing. It doesn't mean I'm offended. It's just like, hey, man, I'd just rather like watch my own shit today. Like, yeah, but I'm still no. going to chat, but I'm just not going to watch this game. And, and that's okay. That's, that's fine. Do whatever you want to do. That's another thing, too, with like streaming is, is switching games can like you. Because like if you're not enjoying the game you're playing, um, I'll go back to Paladins on this. Like Paladins is a growth factory for a lot of streamers, but when you switch over to a different game just because you stopped enjoying that game, people don't want to watch the game you're streaming, right? So it is, it can be dangerous, but I will always say play the game you enjoy playing so you can be the realest version of yourself. Okay. You don't want to fake your way. You don't want to fake it to make it. And so, like, when I switch over to Zelda Friday, I know not a lot of people are going to come in. But I will say, because you you recently played a first-person game, uh, you're able to connect with the audience more when you're not in a high adrenaline uh, 5v5. You're like... I could like when I'm playing Zelda, I'll be running around. And if, if like 10 people start coming in and talking, then I could just put the sticks down. You know what I mean? And like, it's, you're able to connect with the audience more, but it's less stressful. Like I played um, recently to get ready for this Zelda one. I went through and I played breath of the wild um, and I got all the DLC done on that. And then I played uh skyward sword for the first time. And that was amazing. I actually really enjoyed that, but and I, I really it, it brought me back to like the games that I liked to play when I was a kid. And so that's why like I'll be doing this switch here because I get enjoyment out of playing that game so much more than high like I've always been a first person shooter when it comes to streaming and stuff like that, but the enjoyment factor it loses it for me when I'm always high stressed out and you have to rely on other people to do things all the time. You know, and it just doesn't happen. So then first person games, man, like if you're struggling playing first person shooters and stuff like that, try a try a, a a single player game, go through it. You know, God of War. Oh, my God. Those games are amazing. People love oh, those games. I, like it's nostalgia. It's fans. It's like people don't get tired of watching again, like God of War. I, I played the God of War game because uh, I just got my son a PS5 for Christmas. And he didn't wow, get nice it. Nice dad, and, man. Yeah, oh, right. This kid and, uh, be, he didn't you know, say he, nice but, things, mowing the lawn, doing something. He does do. He, my son does. He has his list of chores that he okay, does. He has okay. two cats that he takes care of. Okay. Um, and then after that, he goes. He goes and plays his game. So I make sure he does that. But wow. when I got him that PS5, uh, he didn't get it until I beat God of War. <laughs> 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 then, I gave, then I gave it to him. So. So we we watched it together. He didn't want to play it because he watched me play the whole thing. So, but I, yeah, that I love that, that man. I love that sentiment. I I think you're spot on. Um, you know, I think we both had like, I, for me by far, you mentioned Paladins. That was the absolute most growth I ever had. Mm -hmm. Um, that's where I met I met you and Swipey through that. Like when I was at my peak Paladins, like I'd never had that many people. In my stream, but it you know, feels I good. That, like, it dude, feels I had, good like, to see the numbers. Dude, when I was averaging, like, I remember looking at that and I was like, I'm averaging like 11 viewers. That's crazy. Like, it was blowing my mind. I couldn't believe mm -hmm. it. And then I burned myself out. I was like yep. playing so much and so much. I was every day, I was like, right, I guess I have to play Paladins again. I guess I have to play Paladins again. But the, it's like, people were coming in. I was meeting people. But the, so much good networking was coming out of it. Mm -hmm. And then I, I just, I went down to turn the stream. I was like, I, don't want to play this. It was rage inducing. Like yeah. I will say it hands down. Like yeah. that's what that game was to me, and to where I didn't want to play it at all. But I was, I felt like I had to play it because I like seeing the twenty something averages and stuff like that on yeah. there. You know, for smaller streamers, big numbers is huge. Like that's what you you go for. You're like, I'm making it. I'm making it. But then you realize people just want bounty tokens. People, you know, they're not really coming in to stay. They're not coming in to try to meet you. They or they just want to play with you and they don't want to follow. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, it that's it's a good community for a, such a buggy game. I will say that, but the game itself, like, it's just there's just something about it that just induces rage <laughs> for me. I think I just, it's just shooters, man. I think this. Yeah, that is true. A team shooter game. That's just yeah, like I I was playing ranked Overwatch yesterday with a friend and I dropped 45 kills, he dropped 44 and the other team had 20 and they won. 
and like i was like okay we're <laughs> we're gonna go play something else man because there's no way i just dropped like 45 kills and uh we lost but um, that's uh, kind of well, man that that's we're right about time i feel like that's a perfect place to 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 wrap it up unless you have anything else you want to you want to address or chat about no man i just uh i want to say thank you again for having me on the pod and i uh i do appreciate everything you've done uh i do see your tiktoks and uh your other small short-term content that you make uh it's it's uh always really good you, i've seen you try different areas on it so i just want to tip my hat to you you know and tell you personally that keep up the good work man people see it and they are are appreciating the the content you're putting out into the world brother i appreciate that man thank you thank you for thank sure you. That, re that really does mean a lot because it's um it's hard but you know it you're in the same way oh, yeah it's hard, it's yeah. hard to put yourself out there it is i, I appreciate it. I, re I really do that's, that's kind words um yeah, man. But uh, before we before we sign out, um, just remind people where they can find you and uh, you know any projects that you're working on or anything else that you want to plug. Uh, right now, uh, you guys find me at Twitch, uh, Smashem85, Instagram, and all that stuff like that. My Instagram is basically just like what I do at work, and you know, and just <laughs> just my real life stuff and Twitter. Uh, just just some uh, I'll I'll post some you know I might be going live or just post some stupid stuff on Twitter. And uh, my YouTube, I'm going to be starting up YouTube again. Uh, it's Smash 85. Everything you can find me, Smash 85 across the board. Uh, but we'll be starting YouTube content on the new Tears of the Kingdom uh, Zelda game. So if you guys are Zelda enjoyers, that's where you'll find me. That's S M A S H E M 85 numbers. That, that's correct. Sweet. Um, okay. And then this will come out. Um, um probably within the month so it'll be a couple weeks before this is put out um so, uh, we'll get we'll get better about scheduling too on my end when i say we i mean me um, <laughs> <laughs> but i'm uh, but basically the, the way i'm doing it is banking banking episodes and then releasing them all at the same time um i just kind of prefer to do it that way it just hey you know what schedule, this, so. this is this is your show brother you do however you want to God do it whatever right. works for you right. whatever works for you man you yeah, do yeah. you do whatever you need to do man but yeah this was a lot of fun brother and if you ever need anybody to, to fill a spot absolutely. you know where to find me yes absolutely um very very easy conversation in my opinion so um, yeah we'll do it again and and again i'm, I'm doing seasons so this will be part of season two, and then for season three, we'll we'll try to. Um, I want to start bringing back and bringing some new faces, but I'm trying to do. I'm seeing how many episodes feels right right now. It's mm -hmm. uh, between about five and ten per season. Um, but if more people get excited about it, or want to, you know, if they have suggestions on who to connect with, then we'll do more. But that's Heck that's yeah, it for man. me, man. Um, I appreciate it. Have a great rest of your Sunday. And thank you, everyone, for listening. Everything will be up on YouTube and um, soon be up on uh, wherever else you can find podcasts. I got a lot of uh, admin work back end. You, you got Spotify it, brother. Apple, thank you, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.